What part did music play in helping to achieve another measure of democracy in post-World War I America? The right to vote, a basic tenet of citizenship, was denied the women of this country until 1920, and it required an amendment to the U.S. Constitution, but it also required a change in the attitude of the population. My name is Candace Corrigan, and in this episode of A Vote of Her Own, The Musical, I asked my friend, Dr. Carol Busey, the historian of the city of Nashville, to talk about the role music played in the suffrage movement. Music, particularly piano music with people singing along from the sheet music, was a very popular form of entertainment in the 1920s. Almost every home had a piano and sheet music was very common for families to buy. They had piles of sheet music on their pianos and this generated songs about whatever happened to be going on, whether it was World War I, whether it was an election. And so suffrage was no exception. Nashville had a robust music publishing business here, and people were producing and printing sheet music that was distributed all around the United States. So it would be, of course, natural that music was written against woman suffrage. No, we don't want our women out there voting or it was in favor, let mama have the vote. And it much of it was published here in Middle Tennessee. When we were researching vintage suffrage songs, it became apparent that the suffragists often substituted new lyrics into popular songs. One of my favorites that we're using in A Vote of Her Own is The New America. 